Presidential aspirant George Wajakoya's running mate Justina Wangui has announced that she would take her first puff of bang on the day of their inauguration. Saying she had already asked for permission from her husband, Justina who claimed that she has never smoked weed added, I have never puffed bang but one thing I can assure you, I have even asked for permission from my husband, the moment we win, during inauguration, tutapuff, kishash, bang, lazima kawashwe. But it's only for that day. Wajakoya who is running under the Roots Party revealed that his first task as president would be to legalize marijuana even before he makes any changes in his government. Upon legalizing use of cannabis, the proceeds from it would be used to clear Kenya's debts. Wajakoya added that the first 100 days would be purely for public participation on how to go about legalizing hemp in a country that has, since colonial days, known it as an illegal plant. It, weed, is something that God created among his plants, he said, adding that marijuana has more advantages than disadvantages. Apart from legalizing bang, part of the reforms Wajakoya plans to have in his government is having three days weekends instead of two. Working days would be between Monday and Thursday. Friday being a Muslim prayer day, would not be counted as a work day, and that Saturday and Sunday would also form part of non-working days, he said while unveiling his manifesto. Being the first presidential aspirant to unveil his running mate with the window of submitting names of deputies to the IEBC being extended till May 16th, Wajakoya 62 has become the talk of town through his manifestos of even suspending the constitution. While questioned on what attracted Justina to Wajakoya, the 35-year-old said, Wajakoya presidential aspiration are real but most importantly, he is supportive of women's inclusivity in leadership.